All right, y'all. <laughs> it's day three. We're powering through. I'm not gonna lie. I can't imagine <laughs> what these guys are going through. This is definitely not for the week. Um, anyone who says they can pull 48 games in four days throughout this amount of time. I'm sorry, but it's not that easy. You can say you can do it, but it's not. It's just not. Uh, I'm just watching and I'm exhausted. So we are at the point where we definitely, we done the math. We need five good blocks. Oh, I lied. Cause we only have four. So we're gonna need four good blocks. Four extremely good blocks, which it's not like it's impossible. I've seen Nate do the impossible. Even if he does the impossible and falls short, that's fine. It'll be good for him to see that even through adversity, he can make something good of it, which is what really separates the good bowlers from the amazing bowlers. It's the ones that can take a bad start or just a bad experience and still make something of it and just prove to yourself that you can do it. So yeah, regardless at this point, there's going to be a lot of good bowlers that don't make this top 12. Um, that's the point of this. Um, there's a lot of great bowlers out here and not everyone's going to make it. So let's just see what we can do and go 300 over every block. It's not a lot to ask for. Say the nice ones. I don't got a nice word to say.
that was a really good example of him like fighting through and just bowling. Just out here doing his thing. And he's making up some ground. The scores are not super high right now. So what he's doing is uh, pretty good for his pace right now. If you guys are ever wondering how Nate's balls gets from places, it's called Trevor Air. <laughs> yep. Five dollars a bag. <laughs> Cheap. <sighs> Alright. So let's address the elephant in the room, the situation in the room, as to why this is the end of tour trials. As you guys saw the last couple games, I was getting pretty far left and I was having to loft the bowling ball, do different things with it. Obviously I'm very good in that part of the lane, but my hand started to hurt quite a bit. It was very hard for me to put my middle finger in the bowling ball. I was already cramming it and at the point to where the last couple games I couldn't even cram it to where I was getting it to to where it needs to get to the first joint and it was causing a lot of pain in the middle finger the ring finger was fine but how I was putting in the bowling ball was actually causing my pinky finger to experience a lot of pain and I really wanted to power through I really wanted to keep going because you know at the end of the day I probably wasn't going to make the top 12 but any chance that I'm able to bowl and compete at the highest level and to just learn, I wanna take advantage of that opportunity to the fullest. So after I got done with the last game, took a lot of thought and looking ahead to many of the tournaments that I'm going to be participating in to finish out the year, I thought it was best that I would step away from the rest of tour trials. Again, I didn't want to. I'm really upset. I've only had to withdraw three times in my career, and that's all because of injury, and it's with the same kind of issues. I've gone through several different changes when it comes to those types of issues, and some things haven't been working. So once I get home, I'm going to address those issues again, and I'm going to fix those problems to be ready for the rest of the season coming up. So. If I let any of you down watching this video, I am tremendously sorry to all of you that support this channel. Thank you for your constant support. Thank you for always tuning in and watching and your comments don't go unnoticed. We greatly appreciate all the nice comments. It definitely keeps me going, especially in situations like this. All we can do is move forward from this situation and be better and just keep looking forward to you know the several tournaments that we have the rest of the season i have the amazing opportunity to bowl two over under tournaments with some hall of famers i get to bowl with the most winningest bowler of all time in walter ray and i get to bowl with john rakowski in another over under later in the year and we still have several regionals on the schedule that we can make the rpi which is fantastic hopefully we bring another couple wins home this season i'd be lying to you guys if i wasn't frustrated if I wasn't disappointed, I obviously wanted to be exempt for this coming season, but when you look back at it, there's a lot of things that I could have done better. Preparation wise, being patient wise, making better decisions, making 
better ball choices, all of those things, they can come into factor. But that's why we go through these things in order to learn. So once again, if I've let anyone down, I do apologize. I don't like letting anyone down. I don't like letting myself down, even though it is an injury. I still, you know, take it to heart pretty heavily. I'm very grateful for all my sponsors that continue to believe in me and want to see the best for me. All the kind words this week, whether it was friends, family, fellow competitors, sponsors, all of those nice words really make the difference. So I can't thank you guys enough for that. Next video is going to be Elise. She is bowling a PWBA regional this coming weekend. So that's going to be exciting. We're going to have all the vlog footage for that coming up and hopefully she could bring her third regional title home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being understanding. And yes, this isn't the outcome we wanted, but it's to lead to a bigger outcome in the future. So we'll see you guys in Green Bay for this weekend.